Hello everyone. In this series of videos, we'll talk about Afghan culture and our guest today is Shamsia. Hello Shamsia, could you introduce yourself? Hello Amina and thanks for having me. My name is Shamsia Hussainpour. I was born in Afghanistan, but I migrated with my family to Australia in 2007. Before coming to Australia, we lived in Pakistan for about a year because Afghanistan wasn't safe for us to conduct the interview for the humanitarian visa. So we stayed in Pakistan uh, for about a year just to give the interview in order to come to Australia. We took the easy way in, we came by plane, but it was my brother who came by boat in 2000 at the age of nine. Seven years later, he was reunited with his family. Ever since that, Australia has been home to us, home to me, to my family. So we're pretty lucky and, and happy to be here. Could you name three pros and three cons of living in Afghanistan? Sure. So the three pros from my point of view is the food, not to sound cocky, but I think we have the most delicious food. <laughs> the dresses, so the traditional gowns, and the nature, mountains and the actual nature. Not many people outside of Afghanistan get to see that. But obviously those who are Afghan and those who were born in Afghanistan would know about the beauty of the hidden parts, you know, the treasury parts of Afghanistan. But those who are outside of Afghanistan, who just see things from the media point of view, um, obviously don't have that image that we do. And the three cones would be, I personally don't like a traditional game called the Buskashi. It's like a hockey field, but men are on horses and there's a dead goat and they try to snatch that off each other. And the person that throws it in the hole is the winner. I just think that's very barbaric. And I, I love animals. I find that t terrifying. So that's one thing. Second thing, the perception on women in Afghanistan, although it's changing now, but those who know Afghanistan know that women, just like many other South Asian countries, they don't have a lot of voice for themselves. Not to generalize it, but from what I know and what I've seen, they are merely a man's property. They're in their parents' house. It's always the brother and the dad. Once they get married, it's always the husband. We didn't have many of that in our family, but I have seen it in the village that I grew up. I just think it's very out of date and it's time that women find her identity and her voice. So that's the second one. The third one is just war, right. the never ending war. Like just recently, I don't know if you heard it on the news, but there was a terrorist attack on a maternity ward in Kabul, killing many just born babies, killing many mothers who still had unborn babies in their womb. I saw a picture of, a, of an infant with two bullets in one leg. So sometimes seeing those things makes me very disheartened and very hopeless for my people, for my country. I would love to find a glimpse of hope just to say, no, there's, there's a chance that we might be getting better. There's a chance that our country will be restoring humanity. But seeing those things makes me hopeless again. Um, so yeah, those are my three cones. But I do hope that in every corner of the world where there's injustice, whether that's on male or female, it doesn't matter. Injustice is injustice. And I just hope that people create more love instead of war and guns. Thank you for watching. We will have a lot of great discussions in the future videos.